What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's round two. We both kept seven. I'm on the play. Let's shock in a godless shrine. Eighteen. And tap that for a hateful Eidolon. Uh, so a lifelink, oh. one, two, and whenever a creature dies, I draw a card for each aura attached to it. Okay. <laughs> and say go. That's scary. All right. Uh, mountain pass. Yeah. Let's play a Sun Petal Grove. Uh, enters untapped. Then we will tap that for a Selfless Savior. Okay. Uh, as oh. a 1 1, you can sack him to give another creature indestructible. Uh, okay, so cool. That's a nice card. Uh, and then uh, we'll pay 1 to cast Ethereal Armor. All right. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus 1, plus 1 for each enchantment I control and it has, has first, first strike. Nice. Uh, we'll attach that to the Eidolon. Yep. And I'll take two. Uh, yep, and I will gain two. Yep. We'll go back to 20. Pass. All right, uh, Castle Emberith. And I'll tap to play Conspicuous Snoop. Ooh, nice. I'll play with the top card of my library revealed. And he gets the abilities of whatever that is, right? Yeah, the activated abilities. Right on. All right, your turn. Okay. Draw. Let's shock in a Temple Garden. He's just a 2-2, two -two, right? Yeah, just a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Um, let's pay 2 for a Light Paws Emperor. Okay, what's that to you? Uh, so whenever an aura enters the battlefield, I can search for an aura with equal or lesser value and attach it to Light Paws. Okay, that's really strong. Um, and then I will move to combat. Yep. And attack you for 2. Yep. And I'll go back to 20. Pass. Uh, I'll tap one, play Skirk Prospector. Mm -hmm. And I'll tap two, play Runevelt Horde Master. Yep. Ooh, some serious goblet action. Oh, yeah. All right. Um. So, if spell power beats the battlefield, you can cast it. I will pass. Okay. Yeah, you can still cover it. Correct. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, shit out. Wait a second. Got one out of red. Okay. So, let's pay two to cast all that glitters. Okay, what's up? Uh, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact and enchantment. Yep. Uh, target Light Falls Emperor. Yep. So that's uh, a four, four? You, yes. One, two, three, or uh, five, five, because he's a two, two to start. Got so it. One, because he's a. Enchantment. Oh, enchantment creature. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then the Light Falls trigger. So I will search my deck for an aura, aura with equal or lesser value. Okay. We're gonna get uh, angelic gift. Yep. And attach it to light paws. Yep. So enchanting creature has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, I draw a card. Got it. Like when the enchantment enters. Yes. Okay. I'll show you first. <laughs> Cuts. Yep. Draw. Um, then I'll move to combat. Yep. And attack you for five in the air. Yep. And say go. All right. Uh, I'll drop a mountain. Mm -hmm. <sighs> tap three, play Goblin War Chief. Yep. And then I'll tap one to play another Horde Master. Okay. 
Alright, and... And I will... So that is seven. I always I will take seven. All right. And yep. Your go. Okay. That's shocking in the temple garden. Go to 11. Yep. Um, so other goblins get plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. So he's a 4 4. Yep. And these. So and three threes. Uh, two twos. Two twos. Other goblins. Right. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, let's. Pay three. Yep. To cast Cartouche of Strength. Okay. What is uh, this? When it enters the battlefield, I can have my creature fight another creature, and my creature gets plus one plus one and has trample. Got it. Uh, so I'm going to attach it to Light Paws. Yep. Um, and then I'm going to have him fight your Snoop. Okay. Uh, so he is a one, two, three, four, five, a seven, seven. All right. So they'll fight. Yep. Um, and then the light pause trigger goes off. Yep. So I will search. All right, so this dies. And because of the Horde Master trigger, I get to exile two cards off the top. And I can yep. play them till next turn. All right, that's a land, so I can't play that. So um, what did, I, that just get, goes in exile. Okay. I'm going to get Gift of Orzova. Yep. Uh, so creature gets plus one, plus one, lifelink, and flying. Got it. Double flying. Yeah. I really just want the life, Mike. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and then cuts if you want. Oh, yep. I will move to combat. Yep. And attack you. Let's go with both. So Got it. Be two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, so ten, twelve in the air. Yep. Oh, wait, that's just game then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the two plus ones. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, that's pretty neat. That's kind of hard to deal with if you don't have enchantment removal or, like, a way to kill the creature. Right. Yeah, instant speed removal is really good. Yeah. Or that board wipe that destroys all enchantments. It's just a pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh, whenever players are Okay, we're on the play. Yeah. On the draw, sorry. I assume you're on the play. <laughs> I will be on the play. I thought you said your deck was jank. Didn't look very jank to me. It is kind of jank. Um, so it's basically it's a it's a boggle stick. Okay. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty neat. But it, it definitely would not be competitive because it folds pretty hard to some. Yeah, I bet it's really weak to certain oh, yeah. kinds of things. It's like you probably just remove a couple key pieces and it can't really do anything about it. Um. Enchantment destruction is bad. Anything mass, of course. Uh, spot removal. Yep. And anything like that forces me to sacrifice yeah. gets around all of my protections. 
So, you know, because you're basically you're stacking all these enchantments on one big creature, and you yeah. have to keep it alive or you lose. <laughs> It's hard to sideboard. Yeah. Well, mono red is probably not super well positioned to, you know, destroy. Yeah, enchantments. Yeah. Yeah. It's like just taking all the cards I know that aren't going to be good in this matchup. Yep. That's the best way to do it. It's like, don't always think about what you want. Start with what you know is bad, and then get it out and put something at least slightly better in. Yep. That was the hard thing to wrap my brain around for sideboarding. It's like, it's not about necessarily what I want in. Yep. I mean, it is sometimes, but it's more about what I don't want in. Yep. Looking for one card, I swear I didn't take four of them out. <laughs> oh wait, oh, that's the rest of my sideboard, sorry. No, no worries dude. We're not going anywhere. True. Did I take four of them out? No, I didn't. Right. I like the shirt. Oh, thanks. Was awesome. You do IT stuff? Yeah. No, I really enjoy the hardware aspect of computers. Um, when I write code, it makes me want to blow my brains out. So, <laughs> that's how I knew IT wasn't for me. Like, I, I like computers, but, uh, I, you know, putting them together, it's basically just electronic Legos. Yep. I love, I love putting computers together. It's super fun. But there's, there's no money in that. Yeah. And it's like, all the money is in the coding and the IT. Yep. I got a buddy that does IT for one of the companies here in town, and he absolutely loves it. He spends eight hours a day going through code. And then the guys that are really into it, it's like when he goes home for fun, he writes more code. He's like, oh, I've been working on this private server and putting everything together. And I'm like, that sounds awful. Yo. After about 10 <laughs> minutes, I was like, no, I want to kill myself. <laughs> so, yeah. Where, where does he work? Uh, he does, for a while there, he was working for the, um, what's that, housing bank development? It's like a county program where they uh, take dilapidated houses and fix them back up. Okay. And then it, now he works for the state. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I, I work uh, First National Bank America oh, cool. on Saginaw. Right on. So software engineer over there. So yeah. It's like curious because you said in that area. I'm like, I definitely know people in my office that are like this. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's, he, that's his thing. He's like, what are you doing today? He's like, oh, I'm going to go through a million lines of code and figure out why this program isn't working. I'm like, no, that sounds awful. Yeah, I mean, I like coding, but like, when I'm off, I'm, when I'm off the clock, and I'm like, if I want to actually go to work and not want to blow my brains out, I'm mm -hmm. not going to do this at home. Well, and I got another buddy that he does contractor work, and he's like, yeah, when I'm working, I'm making you know two hundred dollars an hour. Oh yeah. And he came into our company and helped us work on a couple new launch programs we were doing. Um, but being a contractor, it's like when it dries up, it dries up. Yeah. Yeah. I forget the name of their company. But he'd been doing it for a while, and he actually was completely self-taught. He used to work for AT&T in Texas. Okay. And then when he and his wife were going to have kids, I told him, I was like, you know, you got to come home to Michigan. Because, you know, if you're ever going to... Here you go. But when you... When you get to the point in your life, oh, yeah. it's, you want to be around your family, like Yo. your extended family, because it, it needs help. You don't want to be in a town where you don't know anybody. Yeah. You're never going to babysit her. So he taught himself to code yeah. and then moved back home and hooked up with a buddy of ours that was running his own company. Yeah. And never looked back. He's been doing it for years now. Yeah. I, I cut yours, so if you want oh, to draw cool. it, you're, you're good. Good luck, sir. I can't keep this. Yeah, I probably can't keep this either. <laughs> well, on the draw, we're going to just start right mulligan right there. Again. It's like, I definitely need to... I don't think playing fast against your deck is going to win me the game. 
it can. it probably can, but like not. I don't think my deck can play fast enough around yours to do it. Um, not if I have. Like, I mean, to be fair, last game my opening hand was pretty much all gas. Yeah. And so. Probably makes it harder for me to sideboard because yeah. I don't know what your deck normally. If I stumble. Um, then you absolutely can overwhelm me with goblins, but you need to have me outnumbered and be swinging early. Yeah. I think it might have messed up the sideboard against you. We'll see if it hurts that bad. Right. We'll see. I have a tendency to never see any of my sideboard cards. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, I brought in all this stuff, and I didn't see any of it. Oh, yeah, that's probably important. Yeah. I mean, you can start a lot if you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is better. Yeah, this is also a lot better. Uh, I bought a mat. <sighs> I don't even know what to bottom. Mm, I'm going to take a risk. All right. Mountain Pass. Uh, let's shock in a Temple Garden. 18. Tap that for a Glade Cover Scout. Okay. Uh, it's a 1 1 with Hexproof. Got it. And I'll pass. Hopefully, I can keep 7. Mountain. Tap 2. Battle Cry Goblin. Mm -hmm. Pass. That's oh, yeah. pay one to give everything plus one plus oh. It is pay one colorless and a red. Okay, and then six or more power, you make a goblin. Okay. Yep. Cool. Let's shock in another temple guard. Yep. Uh, we'll pay one for Cartouche of Solidarity. Uh, Enchant Creature gets plus one, plus one, and first strike. Yep. And when it enters, I make a human. You got it. Uh, I'll attach it to the Glade cover. Yep. And then swing for two. You got it. Then I will pay one to cast Commune with Spirits. Yep. Uh, look at the top four, reveal a lander enchantment, put it into my hand. Four. Is that revealed to everybody or just you? Uh, so I look at the top four, I have to reveal it to you. Oh, got it. Just right? the card you pick? Yeah, just the card I pick. So yep. you may reveal an enchantment or lander. So you can whiff, uh, but I will reveal Kaya's Ghost Form. You got it. Okay. You want to cut the three cards? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and I will pass. All right. Oh. All right. Uh, Horde Master, swing for three. Um. I'll chump with the warrior. All right. All right. Yep, you're go. Let's go to combat. Yep. Swing for two. Yep. Um, second main, I will shock in a godless shrine. Go to 14. Yep. Then pay two for a light pause emperor. All right. Um, and pay one oh black for Kaya's ghost form. Yep, you got it. Uh, and when that enters, I will search for one, one or less. Yep. And attach it. We'll get ethereal armor. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to. So 
like it's plus one plus one for each, each enchantment. Ability. Yep. And that is a, it gets yeah, it's gonna go five, on five. the light pause. Yep, yep. so it'll be uh one, two, three. Yep, five five. Alright. And I will pass uh, if you want to cut. Oh yeah. Okay. Well that is not good. Pass. Okay. So we got a 3-3 three, three and a 1-1. One, one. Correct. Okay, so let's... Pay 1 to cast Sentinel's Eyes. Uh, enchanting Creature has plus 1, plus 1 in Vigilance. Yep. Attached to the Light Paws. Yep. Do the trigger. So it's a 7-7? Seven, seven? Yes, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 6. Oh, plus the 1, so 7-7. Seven, seven. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what my dick does. <laughs> um, we're going to get Griff's Boon. Yep. Uh, gets plus 1, plus 0, oh, and flying. flying. Yep. So that is a 9-8. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then... Before I shuffle, I'm going to cast an ethereal armor. Yep. On light paws. Uh, so we'll get plus one, plus one for each enchantment again. Yep. So that's probably going to be lethal. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. Yeah, that's game. <sighs> Mana screwed. <laughs> that's rough, dude. So, post board, I brought in two more copies of this. Got it. They run one main board. Yeah. But it is yeah, incredibly that's... good with light paws. Yeah. Because if it dies, light paws comes right back, and then your next enchantment can go get you another copy of Kai's. Yeah. I was holding on to this in hand, and I was like, man, dude, I just need the land. Oh, yeah. That would have been really good. Good games, man. 